Good morning. China manufacturing PMI data dropped sharply in February, while U.S. ISM manufacturing index also was disappointing. U.S. stock market once slightly fell on early Monday. However, news reports saying that G7 finance ministers will hold a call on Tuesday to discuss potential response, together with major central banks saying that they are ready to take action. U.S. stock markets rebounded sharply on Monday. All three major U.S. stock index closed higher and rose 4.5 to 5.1 percent, respectively. Besides, speculation on the Fed will sharply lower interest rate. To 10-year U.S. Treasury yield fell four basis points to 1.09 percent. On the other hand, gold price also rebounded 1.8 percent. Forward-looking, major Major countries might take both monetary and physical stimulus on the response to West impacts of coronavirus. Although it might not prevent global economy to slow down in near term, it would provide support to asset price. Hong Kong stock market is expected to continue rebound today. However, as hashtag index did not drop much in past few trading days, the rebound magnitude will not be too sizable. Overall speaking, we expect Hong Kong stock markets to range trade in near term, while key support is at 26000. Setter-wise, policy beneficiary sectors such as 5G infrastructure, internet sector, mainland property, and traditional infrastructure will remain market focused in near term. Funds will rotate among these sectors in near term. Thank you.